Hey girls and guys, it's Presley, and today I'm gonna to be talking about my stress and anxiety, my worries, my nervousness, and at times, feeling uneasy. Ugh. So, do you remember my worst fears video that I published several months ago before Halloween? Well, I didn't mention all of my fears. So in this video, I'm gonna be mentioning more of my fears that probably still give me anxiety till this day. Up to this point, I mean. So back when I was like in junior high, I used to care a lot about what other people think. And that made me feel self-conscious about myself. Telling my, I used to tell myself a lot that I'm ugly and not good enough. And my parents say, oh, you're not ugly. You're perfect the way you are. And I appreciated those nice compliments. It's just, my anxiety got the best of me because junior high, seventh and eighth grade weren't my best years at, at that point because I was a weird kid and I still am. I'm still a weird person till this point. So the next fear I probably still have is stage fright. Back when I had my quote unquote dead channel, which I'll talk about in, a, in another video, is that I used to be scared of showing my face in front of the camera. Because I was so worried about what other people might say in the comments. You know, there's a lot of trolls and hateful people out there who like to say a lot of mean things. And I didn't want to show my face because I was worried people would call me ugly and whatnot, even though I keep telling myself that I was ugly. But I try not to let all of those things get to me. I don't care so much of what people think anymore. I don't cause myself to say that I'm ugly. I just go with the flow on certain things. If anyone has anything hateful to say to me, well, I just have one thing to say. You're probably a troll. Anyway, my next fear that probably still gets me is I always worry about not being able to go to my next class on time because when I go to my next class, there's a big crowd. Like everybody crowds up into a, the hallways and crowds give me a lot of anxiety and still do. Big crowds to be exact. And oh man, I can't imagine. You know, when you have a lot of people bunched up against you, especially when there's so many people in front of you that walk really slow, I'm thinking in my head, Move it! I'm trying to get to my next class already, you know? Why are you walking so slow? Please let me get to class. I don't want to be late. But thankfully, the staff members and teachers allow me to leave a few minutes early just so I can get to my next class. So I can just beat the crowd and not worry about a whole lot of stuff. I also leave a few minutes early to, um, to, ho to go home. You know, head home, leave, just so I don't have to worry about the crowd, the stampede. <laughs> anyway, but in the end, when it comes to my anxiety, I end up worrying about nothing, which is the worst part about my anxiety. Because when a teacher gives me an assignment and I'm worried I won't be able to finish it, my teacher says, oh, it's nothing to worry about. You'll be just fine. And it turns out. My teacher was right. My teacher was so right, in fact, that I ended up beating myself up over it, which is ridiculous. I worry about the simplest of things. That gives me so much nervousness and anxiety, and it leaves me into an emotional and nervous wreck. Because I'm an emotionally sensitive person, because when I freak out about something, sometimes I ended up bursting into tears. You may think I'm weird, but I already know I'm weird. Everybody's weird, all right? Just like that one psychologist I met. He was a weirdo, but hey, who am I to judge? But there's always someone to talk to about your anxiety and my anxiety as well. Like my mom, my older brother, my grandma, my cousins. I don't know where I'd be without those people I'd mentioned. Because, you know, I talk to a lot of family members about my anxiety because 
Even though I don't have a whole lot of friends at school, I do have acquaintances. But then again, I mostly talk to my family, not my acquaintances, since I don't have any friends at school. Which is okay. Not a whole lot of people have friends, and some people don't need friends, which is okay. I guess some people have a lot of trust issues, which is fine. Sometimes I have trust issues, too. And... There's going to be a certain point where you're going to have to accept your anxiety. You know, it'll always will and always has been a part of your life and it will never leave. Now, I understand there are some people who have a lot worse stress and anxiety than I do. Some people have different stress disorders and they have a hard time controlling their anxiety. But how I handle my anxiety... I like to watch YouTube videos so I can get myself distracted. And again, I'll talk to some of my family members that I know. And um, I'll make YouTube videos if I have to. Because, you know, I don't know where I'd be without YouTube. I enjoy this channel. I just want to... The reason why I created this channel is so I can surpass that dead channel. And I'll talk about my dead channel in the next video. Don't worry about it. So... Then again, everyone has their own ways of dealing with their anxiety, even me. And anxiety will never leave. And mine is well accepted at this point. So even if you can't like get rid of all of your anxiety, at least accept it a little bit. Just a little, excuse me, just a little bit, all right? Anyway. That's all I have to say for this week's video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video.